Where is Yotsuyo? At last, the hour has come. The conclusion to these negotiations will mark a new beginning for Dorma and the Empire. Uh Sorry. Indeed. <laughs> we are ready to proceed with the exchange when you are. <clears throat> Forgive my curiosity, Ambassador, but is there a purpose to these containers you bring with you? Mm. Oh, the supply crates. They are filled with materials we hoped might be of use in Dorma's restoration. I meant to gift them to you at our last meeting, but we had so much else to discuss. How very generous. I confess I had not expected such compassion. Welcome though it is. Blow it up. Don't touch it. But then I was also surprised by the news that one of our captives had delivered herself into your custody ahead of time. A minor discrepancy I shall overlook in the spirit of the occasion. Mm -hmm. Are you perhaps referring to me, Lord Here? No, she's back. Yotsuyu. No. Of Nayuri, widow of Sashihai, and acting viceroy of Dorma. You and your people are mine to govern, mine to punish. Here we go again. Well, well, it would seem your shattered mind is mended. As per our agreement with the ambassador. You are free to return with him to the Empire. <sighs> are we going to kill her now? Your authority as acting Viceroy, however, is no longer recognized here. You tell her. <laughs> My position is not for you to decide, little lordling. Who resist the rule of the Empire must be purged. Such was the order given to me by Lord Xenos himself. Damn it. I will reign here in this putrid, pestilent swamp until the last of you has been broken. Damn it. This land shall know no dawn. I will spew forth darkness and drown all in eternal night. And high above you I shall shine, uncaring, cold and distant as the moon! I hate this. You couldn't just end with killing your parents. You gotta just go complete genocide on us, huh? We gotta put her down. Man. Man! Uh, the only reason I'm having a hard time with this is because Gosetsu likes you! Ah! Come on! Didn't you kill Xenos? Uh, we just got to reveal uh, a few scenes ago that Xenos is alive and well. What an ass. Either right. I had a feeling. Oh shit, is she gonna summon? Just her? If you have enough feelings and Oh no! What has oh, she done? Oh no! 
She's gonna pull a Shiva! Oh gods, this is a summoning. It is. What are you gonna turn into? Is she going to turn into that wolf? Uh-oh. Uh. What is she? Whoa! What the? What the? What are you? A dormant citizen has called forth an icon in direct violation of our primary agreement. The negotiations have failed. Abandon the captives and make preparations to withdraw. Da, 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 da. <sighs> but Ambassador! <laughs> disobey me, Pylos, and you disobey the Emperor. Make preparations to withdraw! No! I really hate this guy! As you command. What did he command anyways? I'm putting, I wasn't paying attention, I missed that. <laughs> Pure and utter rage. My lord, you must fall back! No! Join the fight! You ask me to run? Yeah. No, leave us to me. I'm, I'm here to fight. Ah, against such a foe, I would be more hindrance than help. The field is yours. Wow, you were quick to leave. <laughs> we will withdraw, <laughs> but not without our countrymen. I want every soul accounted for. Every soul. Okay. My lord. My lord. I knew you would not flee. I see now the strength which flows from that baleful light of yours. But I am become Skuyomi, goddess of the moon and divinity of night. What power can compare to such celestial majesty? Sukuyomi? Is that a new thing? I shall plunge all I despise into darkness! And within that black abyss, even your light shall flicker and fade. Tsukuyomi no Mikoto is the moon god in Japanese mythology and the Shinto religion. The name Tsukuyomi is a compound of the old Japanese word Tsuko, means moon and month, becoming modern Japanese Tsuki, and Yomi uh, means reading or counting. Uh, so it's based off a, a Japanese legend. Uh, I think she's an original. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think she's an original. Come. Hey, Reed. Let us cast the stalks and look upon the fate of Doma. Doma. I see a future in which the sun sets on this wretched... Oops. Sorry. <laughs> On wretched what? <laughs> La! Woo! 
I'm so uh, excited. Yep. <laughs> this is gonna be such a painful fight. Oh my gosh, hurt me emotionally, oh, game. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna laugh if everyone else took time to glam up too. <laughs> oh god, I'm so excited. What are you wearing? What are you wearing? You will see. So I was checking her out to see like if she comes from any Final Fantasy game at all, and no, she's a completely original uh, summon uh, from a Japanese yeah. lore. I thought that was really neat. Every now and then we do we do come across a, a few originals. Yeah. She is her own person. <laughs> it's beautiful. Ooh. All right, who's the main tank? Is it going to be you or Aya? Seems like Aya. They have their tank stance on before me. Okay. It's like calling dibs if you don't get it up first. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's going to be a long night. All right, all right. I didn't realize how much fun Healer was going to be. Like, I was freaking out that this was going to be a really hard class yeah. with too much responsibility, but... No, yeah, the... The supposed responsible classes like tank and healer, this game does a good job of like introducing you and making it not scary. Yeah. Like once you get the hang of it, like most classes, it's become it becomes fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god. Oh no, oh no, oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you Yuna! Healer down! <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna be busy for a while, so regain. <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god, okay, okay, everything's fine, everything's fine. Whoops. Okay, I think we're good, I think we're good. So how was today's stream? It was fine. It was, it was nice. It was uh, nice? <laughs> yeah. Hey. Which one's your... ones. Yeah, Overall, I saw a glimpse of it. It was alright. It's, it's not my favorite, um... But it's, you know, it's a fine, like, cute adventure story. It, uh, uh, uh-oh. Wait, what is, why is there so many arrows here? What does that mean? Uh, so when it's in a line like that, that means you have to stack and in that line, in a way. Like, it's going to go that direction rather than just, like, in an area normally. Oh, like we don't it, pile it, it, on each other? Oh, that hurt. No, no, we do. We do normally. It just it's just an indicator that it's like gonna be a line AoE as opposed to like a big circle. Oh, interesting. Whoa. Oh, what I like the... this. She's like come forth shades. What is happening? Curse my name, strike my body. I think this is my interpretation of this is that secretly, deep down, she feels like she deserves the hate she gets. Which I think is the Suyu part coming out. Oh. Because remember how how sorry she felt when she started getting all back all of her memories? Yeah, I wanted to cry when I saw her cry. I'm like, she was the enemy I wanted to kill. What is happening? <laughs> yeah. So I think this is the Suyu part coming out. Just like that realization that like her blinded like hate isn't like the way she views Doma isn't the complete truth. It's just, oh god. I I'm i I'm just curious, were you rooting for her when she stabbed her parents? <laughs> Cause my god, I got excited. You know, yes, I think most people were. I was like, yes, get her get them, bitch. <laughs> Oh, it's so scary. Oh. Save the party! They're behind me, soil. <laughs> look, look who's protecting her. What? No, uh Hold on, I need to zoom in more. I'm too far out. Oh my god! This is... This is beautiful. Incorporating, like, story in a fight. I love moments like that in Final Fantasy. Ooh. Oh, that hurt. All right, welcome to phase two. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, right, I have this. Oh, 
Oh my god, I'm so closed in, I can't. Honestly, I get like a feeling that she's, she, I don't know. Like, like you said, like just, she wants to end it. Uh, uh, oh, what's up with the stuff then on, on our heads? Is this supposed to tell us where we need to go in the board? Oh. Joe? <laughs> Figure it out, I don't know. Oh no! <laughs> Part of the puzzle, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Ah, ah, ah. Keep me alive. Keep me alive. Keep me alive. Ah, 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 ah. Keep me alive. Keep me alive. <laughs> Oh, regain! Here we go. Guys, I have one rule as a healer. Don't get hurt. <laughs> the background in this place is so pretty. Oh my god, yep. I need to pay attention to the board. Oh shit. Oh, I'm hurting. Wee, 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 wee. I really hope we get to fight Asahi after this, because I really want to kick his ass. I'm so mad at him. I'm so mad. <laughs> Did I get the berry up in time? Kinda. Wait, wait. Out of all the like uh, healing classes, which ones do you did you do you find fun? The most fun. Um, there we go. I mean, I find them all pretty fun. I guess my favorite is a toss up between white mage and scholar. Really? Just depending on what I'm feeling at the moment. Ah. Oh, we gotta go to you! <laughs> Victor! Scholar can be fun because, like, you just kind of throw a shield on people, and then you just continue to DPS <laughs> for a little bit until the shield is gone. Which, oh. I mean, is kind of what, um... Of what a sage is. Sage is. Yeah. yeah, like the way you, you just described, I was like, that sounds like a sage! <laughs> yeah, they're, they're the two shield healers, so I think your skills will translate well um, if you ever do pick up Scholar. Oh, all right. I'll probably try that one next. <gasps> we there won! We yeah! I'm scared how things are gonna move forward after this. It's all gonna be okay. Asahi's gonna confess to his crimes. Garlemaldo's <laughs> gonna give in and surrender. And, uh... Yeah. It's all oh. gonna turn out per just nice Perfect. and well. Perfect. Like a perfect, beautiful ending? <laughs> yeah, she's just taking a nap. She's just taking oh, a nap. Oh, okay. <laughs> a little sleeping beauty right here, huh? She's, she's, the, she's the sleeping kids. Oh. So there's that and like a... And all of Doma is going to welcome her back with open arms. That sounds good. I mean, like the kid did. She was very, uh, very sweet to her with the whole persimmon person incident. That, that kind of, that, I was choked in the inside with that part. <laughs> I see we're all just like here. <laughs> Yep, this is gonna be like, if I edit this video, just, here we go. <laughs> oh, so that's your outfit. Yeah. Oh, it looks so cute. Thank I love you. it. I am jealous of your massive back bow, though. Oh, really? don't you have one? No. No, what do you got? Oh, that's your shield. <laughs> yeah. That was... <laughs> well, that's okay. I'm jealous of your giant shield. <laughs> Oh, but you have a cute mask there. <laughs> I do, I do. That would have been really cool if they made like an option where you can wear the mask or not. Just mm -hmm. for funsies. Oh my goodness. Yeah, everyone looks so good, my gosh. Fashion is, is a major thing here in Final Fantasy. <laughs> All right, let's go see what happens next with Yutsuyu. Oh my god. Would you mind sharing your screen uh, so that I may see in real time? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, 
Oh, shit. Uh, did you see that? <laughs> He's such an asshole! I hate him! Oh! What is his problem? Why does he hate her so much? I don't get you! You really must learn to finish the job. He's so evil. Oh my gosh, I feel like he's the most evil person I've come across yet. He's worse than Nidhogg. It's so quiet, Joey. Did I disconnect you by accident? I'm still here. I'm just eating. Oh, okay, got worried for a second. I was like, oh I no. I do want to say, though, you know, <laughs> at least Nidhogg, you can understand. It's like, yeah, they killed his sister and betrayed him. Yeah. But, they, like, they betrayed, uh, like, all of Dragonkind's trust just for a bit of power and killed his sister and a pain that he will never, like, lose mm -hmm. that he has to forever live with. Yeah. D Does he have a backstory? If not, then, like, he's literally, like, the worst villain I've come across yet. Worst as in Tis true poorly written or... And a handful of crystals make for a feeble summoning. It's just for the... the weakest icon is a god of souls. Like he's just that must be put down. <laughs> Asahi, I'm trying to talk here, dude. <laughs> like he's just evil because he's just he was just born that way. Like he was literally just an evil person to begin with. Nothing had to like push him in that direction. Mm -hmm. Well, what do we know of Asahi so far so far? We know that He's a stepbrother. He... We we saw that he has an obsession with Xenos, right? Yeah, and he took pleasure whenever uh, Yutsu was getting abused by his parents. Right. I, I don't understand why. Like, the only thing I can think of is that they were favoring her at some point and he got jealous. If it was there in the backstory somewhere, I, like, I don't know. But that doesn't seem enough to be so fucking evil. Like... He was willing to sacrifice his parents. He didn't care. Like, he doesn't... He's a sociopath. He has no feelings for people. I guess we'll have to see. <laughs> my, my. Such hostility. These beings are the sworn enemies of the Empire. I merely did my duty as an Imperial officer. Will you surrender to anger then? Slay an anointed emissary to avenge a fallen foe? You are psychotic! Ha! You cannot, of course! To do so would burn the bridges we have labored so hard to build. Forgetting, they're already ash. This doorman woman has seen to that. The Empire cannot ally itself with any nation that refuses to renounce summoning. I believe I was most clear on that point. <sighs> I hate him. I really, really hate him. Bestowed upon her. I should have been the one to govern Dorma. I would have repaid his faith. Oh my god, he's such a petty bitch. No one alive loved him more than I. What? God. Yeah. What the Literally, heck? Asahi is angry because he simps for Xenos. <laughs> Because he loves Xenos. Holy shit. He's crazy. In 
Instead, this harlot betrayed his trust. Useless piece of filth! Worthless whore! Oh my god, please, can we stop him from hitting her? Oh, who did that? Oh. Lord Han? Gosetsu? Who's it? Me? <laughs> god, I wish it was me. Thank you, dear brother, for this precious gift. Vengeance. Oh, she finally got vengeance on him? She did it? Oh my god, yes! These people, our people, they ignore the corruption which festers beneath the surface. Cast aside that which is dirty and broken. Speak not of things which would disrupt their dreary little lives. Like you, Asahi. Always pretending not to see. You were the first. The first I swore to kill. Oh, damn. Such bliss. I had thought my hunger insatiable. But now... Now I am satisfied. You should feel honored, dear brother. I saved the last of my strength just for you. Oh shit. What's the matter? The witch of Doma will soon be dead. These are both good. <laughs> I should have gone with Kosetsu. Shit. Lord 
thought Zeno's. I am at your disposal. Asai, you were born of Doma, yes? Yes, my lord. I am honored that you would remember me. How may I serve? You are hereby appointed ambassador plenipotentiary and empowered to speak with the voice of the emperor. Return to your native land of Doma and announce your intention to sue for peace. For peace? Once negotiations are underway, you are to locate the acting viceroy. She lives? Uh, that is to say, I will, my lord. When you have found her, you will initiate a ritual to call forth an icon. I will instruct you in the necessary steps. I need to kill you. Oh my god, I'm so angry at you right now, Xenos. Yotsuyu's faith is unreliable. But as a child raised to believe in the Kami, she will serve as a vessel for one of the Kojin's gods. She need only wish it to be so. The power will seem a gift, but the icon's essence will consume her. She will be no more than a husk, a slave to whim and desire. My lord, ever since the day you saw fit to save my miserable life, I have dreamed of repaying your benevolence. Upon my honor, I swear to devote myself wholly to your service. All that you command will be done, no matter the cost. But, but, I fear the subtleties of your plan yet elude me. From the reports I have heard, the champion who aids the Dolman resistance would make short work of a single icon. The icon is merely a message. The pacifist teachings of the popularis spread through this city like a plague. And I would remind the people of the threat we face. You will be my chosen agent. The hand which tolls the warning bell. The salvation of this world will not be won through the signing of treaties. Your chosen agent. <laughs> I will not fail you, my lord. My, my. Master, <laughs> Lord Zenos, he will come for you. <laughs> F you. <laughs> oh, thank God he's dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gozetsu! Shit, my heart. They bonded! She called him stinky. <laughs> she is gone. God damn it. I'm like just thinking back like how awkward it was with those two at first, but he still took care of her. And then as you get to see them bond continue, like, throughout the game, he's like, 
She washes his bag. She's getting persimmons for him. It's just like, oh, God yeah. damn it. Can I, can I go some over some slightly over analysis real quick? Go for it. I love doing analysis shit. <laughs> I, I, I like to interpret Yotsuyu's story as the cycle of violence, right? Okay. Where people were violent to her. Therefore, she felt the need to like express that same violence towards others to satisfy her like pain and then others felt the want to basically take the violence back on her and then just this endless of like where does it end in fact i feel like a lot of storm blood is about that you mm. know the cycle of violence of like when does it end when is it that people are satisfied and have taken vengeance and there's no one else to take vengeance right yeah and i feel like gosetsu is the the good answer to that where it's like eventually we gotta just be like all right enough is enough and I think the same thing with the uh, Heaven's Word as well. It's like this war had been gone on, going on for so long. And yes, there are plenty that will go unavenged, but eventually it has to stop. Yeah, that is a thing that I kind of noticed between like Heaven's Word and, and uh, Stormblood so far. It's just like mm -hmm. having hate consume you to the point of like, uh, just like, just like starting shit up. And it doesn't matter. Yep. You're like... How many people are hurt? It's like, it's just like... Uh, Same with Fordola as well. Like, yeah. uh, Fordola is like, man, they killed my family, so they don't deserve to have the same rights that I do. I'm going to mm -hmm. take over. I'm going to work for Garlemald, and I'm going to prove myself. And then everyone was like, Fordola is captured. We have to, you know, like, punish her and all that. Mm -hmm. And, like, until Raubon was like, all right, this stops here. Maybe she deserves it, but we got to stop because it will, it will continue. Yeah, but yeah. So, so that is that is the common theme that's happening. The common denominator: cycle of violence, revenge, uh, mm -hmm. getting what they feel like is uh, what is it? I always say to people just for funsies, but <laughs> I don't actually mean it. Um, <laughs> retribution, feeling yeah, that yeah. they've been wronged and they and they you know feel justified to and do I something like, about yeah. it. And I like that the game doesn't say like the they shouldn't be punished because clearly with Fordola, it's like no, no, no. She's not off the hook. She's going to fix all the shit she caused. Mm-hmm. Basically, you know? and, uh, like in D&D &D sessions, uh, there will be consequences for your yeah, actions. An <laughs> yeah, answer for her crimes. And same thing with Yotsuyu. It's like, she isn't redeemed, but, like, you see how she got the way that she did. Yeah. And just like, uh, just like you said, it's like, maybe Tsuyu deserved better, you know, this other entity that has born from her amnesia. Yeah. It's, it was just like, I really like what they did with Yotsuya's story, as as tragic mm. as it was, but just like, having her have that like character arc period of not remembering who she is and having that moment of who she could have been and she could have been like this really sweet, caring person that she never had a chance to be, like, that is heartbreaking. That is heartbreaking mm -hmm. that, like, if she wasn't treated like shit in the beginning, like, sold off to prostitution, sold off to an abuser. Maybe things could have been different, yeah. She would have been a wonderful, beautiful person. And that hurts. Yeah. I think tragedy is the perfect... You said like, you used that word tragedy. I think that's the perfect way to describe Yotsu's story. Because it's a, it's not pitiful. You don't... You don't you, you do kind of pity her, but it's not... Like I said, she's not redeemed. But it's like, she could have had it better... Yeah. And she could have answered for the things that she did. but yeah. And it's sad all around because she will not get that chance and other people will not get that chance to, you know, get justice from her either. Yeah. It's all around sad. Yeah. Like, there was this one other character in the game. I can't remember who he was. He's like an NPC that went on the treasure hunt with you so you can get all the money for Alamigo under C. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, I forgot his name. I he's forgot the, his name. <laughs> yeah, he's the the half Garlean child. Um, yeah. Yeah, so he also, like, dealt with, like, some hardships. Like, he was alone, and, you know, he had, like, an option to, you know, either take this, you know, rough rough road or to seek a, um, you know, the road of light <laughs> and, and work mm -hmm. with science and stuff like that. But it's just, like, I, I think I made a comparison, but thinking about, thinking on it now, I'm thinking, like, Yotsuya never really had that option, or at least, I don't know, like, she couldn't find a way out. And the only way that she could find out to find any kind of sense of freedom at all, something close, was getting an opportunity to work with the Garlean Empire. Mm -hmm. It's just like, 
it, she just didn't have an opportunity, and that sucks. Yep. That's what makes her such a tragic villain. Oh my god. Victim of circumstance. Yeah. It's bullshit. I hate it. Maybe she could have had some form of redemption, but she never had the opportunity to because of her circumstances. Yeah, no one was there early enough before the Garleans to help her. Mm -hmm. oh, god damn it. Oh my god. Really, I love the, having this whole character analysis yeah. subject to talk about. Yay. Really, the true villain of Yotsuyu's story is her parents. It's, yeah, honestly, that they are the true villains. That's why we were all, like, rooting for them to die. And, like, they were honestly in our face about it. They literally got, like, a pie and smeared it all over our face as soon as we saw their parents mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then how they treated her. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. They were such shitbags. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder their son was a shithead, too. <laughs> yeah. Golly. Great. If I'm already in pain this much, I'm scared for Shadowbringers because everyone's just like, just get tissues. I'm like, what the fuck is happening in Shadowbringers? What's <laughs> Why? I don't know. I think it's kind of mid. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to temper your expectations. Not at all, dude. I remember you saying that was your favorite. I'll, and like, I think my brother said that's also his favorite. It's just like so many people are saying Shadowbringers are their favorites. So I'm just like. Uh, I don't know, man. I think you might be underwhelmed. I don't know, man. The hype's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of, it. <sighs> It's a lot of people hyping it up. It's kind of hard not to get hyped about it. <laughs> yeah, I will laugh. Whatever. I will laugh at the end. I'll be like, y'all hyped about this too much. It's shit. I'll mm -hmm. be that 1%. I'll be the 1%. <laughs> yeah, you'll be like, oh, was that it? Oh, okay. I guess so. Ah, oh, well, damn. Be shit. <laughs> <laughs> y'all disappointed me. Damn. <laughs> All right. Let's, I guess back to sad time with yeah, yeah, Kosetsu. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, I hate this. Oh, Kosetsu. Oh. How did the Kami spare us, only to inflict this pain? I know, it sucks, dude. And I hated her when she shot you! <laughs> I cried over you, Kosetsu! <laughs> that made the bear cry. God, I'm so easy to cry. Don't make me love these characters. 